Saturday. Uh, welcome back to another vlog. Um, so it's Saturday morning and I just got back from Lyle's apartment and I did my laundry. <laughs> so I just got back from doing that. And one of my favorite things to do is, that just makes me so happy, is whenever I, I guess, just like come back into my apartment in the morning and I just see my apartment in the morning light and the sunshine and it just makes me so happy. And it just kind of makes me remind myself every day how lucky I feel that I get to live here and I'm so happy that I found this apartment and I'm just happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, and um, this morning after I brought my laundry in, I also went down, there's this cafe called Cafe Leon Door and they have this Fredo Cappuccino, which as you can see is very <laughs> frothy and sugary, uh, so it's definitely a treat. Um, but I got one of those and I just sat down for a bit by myself. It took 15 minutes. I wasn't even planning to. I just was like, oh, I'm going to get something for breakfast. But they had like a nice little seat outside and they were playing music. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just phone down, just sit there by myself for 15 minutes and just take a breath. <laughs> I feel like in COVID sometimes... You know with work and everything and then on the weekends doing this and that you know it's nice to just take a break for yourself for a little bit so that is what I did so all right so today is gonna be a fun day because oh my gosh my hair looks crazy oh goodness also I'm really hot I need to take my jacket off I'm wearing my new pants from Saison that I showed you guys in the last vlog and just this little top. Um, oh, and I'm back on the Lashify. <laughs> I just felt like it was such a stark difference when I watched that video back of like when I had it on versus when I didn't have it on. I was like, I actually prefer it on better. So yeah, so I did that. Um, <laughs> so at least, at least there's something. Today is going to be a fun day because I am going to I'm going uptown to see my friends Kendall and Mary who you guys have seen on my vlogs before and we're gonna go ice skating in Central Park and as I think I mentioned in one of my um, recent vlogs I actually bought my own ice skates this year these are from Amazon they make ice skating so easy <laughs> like I don't know but something about them I think it's because they're very structured on the top so they're definitely like for beginners I feel like if anybody is an, um, a skater who is watching you're probably like those are ridiculous stupid skates or something but also it's crazy like I feel like when you go to these rinks in the city they charge you like $20 fee just to get in and then they charge like another $20 just to rent the skates and I was like you know what I go like to the I go at least once a year every year like during the holidays and whatever and I probably will continue to do that so I'm like it actually makes sense to buy my own pair of skates and then plus they can be white and pretty <laughs> and you don't have to wear shoes that other people have worn not that that really bothers me that much I know that like for some people that really bothers them it doesn't bother me as much because I guess maybe I just don't like think too far into it <sighs> but yes anyways okay enough of me blabbering I'm going to put my laundry away do my makeup and then go ice skating <laughs>
Okay, so now that I am all ready, I did my hair and makeup, just threw it up in a bun and some regular everyday makeup that I always do. Just threw on an outfit, so these are a pair of like faux suede leggings from Zara. They're like the most comfortable thing. Usually when I go ice skating, I like to wear uh, a skirt and tights. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, all of my tights are, well, they're drying right there. <laughs> all of my like light colored tights because I just did laundry. So I'm wearing pants and I'm just wearing like a cozy sweater. This is actually also from Zara. Um, I got it on sale over the summer. It's like a knitted um, pattern but with pearls on it. And I got it over the summer for like really cheap for whatever reason, I think during their summer sale. I'm just gonna wear that with my Superga sneakers so it'll look like that. And then I'm going to, for a jacket, wear my pink, <laughs> my pink furry one. So <laughs> I'm gonna be so fluffy and warm and cozy. And I have my little bag here that I'm gonna bring with me. This has my ice skates in it. I have some, my mittens. I have like a longer pair of socks to wear with the skates because they come up higher. And then my pink earmuffs in case my in case my ears get cold. So it would look like this. <laughs> yeah, so probably gonna be the pinkest girl on the ice, but you know, that's just the way I like to, <laughs> to wear stuff. And then right before I go, I'm going to water my plants because that is something that I do every Saturday. I water my plant once a week and it seems to be happy with that. I've had this plant for, gosh, maybe like three or four years now, and it's still going strong, so this seems to work for it. And I do about one of, one of these full, which I believe is two cups, yeah. And there we go. Drop, drop me off right in front of the Plaza Hotel. That's where the girls and I decided to meet. I'm here right at 12, well, actually I'm a couple minutes early. They're still on their way, so I think I'm just gonna walk around a bit. I wanna show you the plaza, um, and depending how long it takes them to get here, maybe I'll pop into like Bergdorf's or something, but let's look at the plaza, because it's pretty. Five and then. Or if you do like a drummer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, remember we came here. And <laughs> Hi everyone. We came here a few years ago, and I helped you with a photo shoot. And we went to the New York Public oh Library. Oh my God, you're right. And we took a picture up on a rock. We asked her yeah. to take our picture. Yeah. And I was taking pictures of you on the bridge. Yeah. And then, yeah, you did like outfit changes in the library. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this is such a fun day. And then we got brunch. That was a fun day. Before pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Okay, that Definitely. means I wanna see. We're in Central Park. <laughs> and I found Kendall and Mary. Oh, <laughs> 
and we're gonna go ice skating and duck pond is so cute. The sun is coming out. And the sun is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I hung out with Kendall and Mary, we went ice skating, we got brunch, we did a little bit of shopping, 
and then today I have a hair appointment <laughs> so it's about 11 o'clock a.m. right now my appointments at 1130 and I am going to get some color and cut with Jasmine who uh, I talked about before uh, on here She's at Roman K Salon in Tribeca, and I've seen her before. She, I actually found her through this uh, YouTube channel, so I'm excited to go see her again. She's uh, very sweet and very good at doing hair. So yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. And before I go, I wanted to update you guys on a few things. One is I wanted to tell you about my new phone case. So. I got a phone case. This is it right here. So obviously I have the 12 Pro Max, but I wanted to get a nice phone case for it and I waited a while um, until I found one that I actually really liked. And so I got this from the Daily Edited. It is the Pink Safiano and it's like a very light pink. And what's cool about them is they do like basically like personalization or, or monogramming. I know like Caseify and whatever does that. but. I feel like the daily edited is just cooler, <laughs> but I basically got like a, a gold, my like initials on it in the center and very big, which I thought was cool. Um, you've probably seen the daily edited before in pictures like these I'll put up on the screen and they're really cool in that like a lot of bloggers will use them. I remember when I worked in corporate at Saks. They had like a pop up in the store uh, at the time, which was really nice. So, yeah, and they have a store in the West Village, which is where I went to go pick out mine. I like spoke to the woman in the store and she showed me like all of the books that had all of the colors and options and styles. So, this is the one I went for, and I just thought that it was cool. So, yeah, if you're like looking for a phone case, great place to get one. Also, when I was with Kendall, so my friend Kendall loves skincare and she actually like follows just so many things about skincare and so her and I went into Sephora really quickly yesterday and we were in there I got two things and she got the same things um, although I think she might have gotten a slightly different one of these but basically this is from Super Goop and the woman at Sephora was telling me how this was flying off the shelves and this was the very last one it just came out it's called the Daily Dose Vitamin C plus SPF so it's a serum so you use it as your serum step so after your cleanser your essence your serum before your moisturizer broad spectrum SPF 40 plus and I was reading about it and it's supposed to be like the perfect non-irritating no fragrance clean beauty sort of product it combines the power of vitamin C plus broad spectrum UV protection and a silky one-step serum for your healthiest and brightest complexion yet it's the ultimate investment in just a few pumps so what I thought was cool about it was when I was looking at the pictures online is that it actually helps with the appearance of any sort of I guess like sunspots or uh, discoloration on the skin, which actually I have makeup on right now, but um, if I didn't and I showed you close up, I have like a spot that is a sunspot and then a couple other spots that are just kind of like, I don't know about acne scars, but just kind of like discol just like very faint discoloration and the picture like before and after looked like such a huge difference. I don't know. So I figured why not just try it out, see how it works for me. And then the other one was a retinol and I've been going back and forth on retinol. A lot of people say that retinol is like one of the most important steps that you can do for your skin as far as anti-aging and preventing yourself from wrinkles, supposed to help with acne, just a ton of benefits that retinol has. Uh, I actually saw a video where a doctor was saying, well, no, if you start using retinol too early, then like your skin will look like you know by the time you're like 30 your skin will look like you're 40 or something I don't know it just made me like hmm maybe I should wait so I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on whether to use retinol or not but my friend Kendall said and so did the woman at Sephora that this one from first aid beauty it's called the retinol serum 0.25 pure concentrate sensitive slash beginner so this is supposed to be a good one if you are like haven't used retinol before and you're basically a beginner and you want to kind of get into it if you have sensitive skin it's supposed to be more of like a gentle one uh, it's fragrance free 
Bakery. I've been watching so much skincare by Hiram, so I do know that like he likes these two brands, which to me feels like, okay, like they must be good then. And he was talking about how First Aid Beauty is actually good, so much better than I thought because I've always kind of written off First Aid Beauty as like, okay, whatever, but it's actually supposed to be a great brand. So yes, uh, I was totally influenced and I'm going to try this. So yeah, I haven't put it on yet, but I do know that when you use something like a retinol, uh, that it's good to follow up with a sunscreen afterwards. So I will for sure be doing that. Going to go to my hair appointment and I'll check in with you guys there. I just left the hair salon and yeah it was a great appointment Jasmine is so great I love um, going to see her and I'm really really happy with my color and the cuts I'm bright again and I went a little bit shorter this time so I'm really excited about that I feel like just like the way that my hair is very fine and stuff the shorter looks tend to suit me better so yeah I went to Jasmine at Roman K salon she's so sweet and like really just like listens to everything she's like really good at what she does has so much experience too so yes all right so now I think I'm just gonna head back to my apartment and just enjoy the rest of Sunday enjoy the rest of the day off <laughs> sometimes we'll randomly be <laughs> an ice cream truck <laughs> I think that's funny now <laughs> Sometimes in the winter, there'll just randomly be an ice cream truck in New York. I don't know, it's a nice <laughs> treat, I guess, every once in a while. We went to Mac, um, which is a total blast from the past. I was actually just talking about how big I used to, like, Mac used to be, and then now it's, you know, not really as big, but I'll show you guys what I got when I get back. Got some sweet cream. And then the whole rest of the palette is irrelevant. So I was like, why don't I just buy like an individual, like bigger size of one shade? Because that's all I really need. So I got this shade called Yogurt. So I went in and I talked to the guy. I kind of like explained what I wanted. And he said that like yogurt sounds exactly like what I'm talking about. So yeah, as you can see, it's just like a really light pale pink. So I will keep you guys updated on how I like that. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that they open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Monday. I have the day off today. I just woke up and I slept in for a little bit, which was nice. And then now I just came in here. I did my cleanser, which I used the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And then I rose water spray. This is the Claudelet Beauty Elixir. It comes in this pretty like glass bottle. And I really like it. It's very refreshing in the morning. And then I wanted to show you how I'm using this new product that I got. This is the Super Goop Daily Dose Vitamin C Plus SPF. And uh, since I told you guys about this uh, yesterday, I've learned some other benefits about it. And apparently vitamin C doesn't work without sunscreen. And although I 
up always apply sunscreen afterwards for some reason they're supposed to be together so yes it just looks like this so I'm just doing one two pumps and it's about that much which feels like quite a bit I used this yesterday also and I really liked it just rubbed it in my fingers and then similar to oh well, this is a serum so I'm using it as my serum step I just pat it in and anything that's left to go on to my neck yeah so I think on their Instagram or somewhere it said that you should apply three or four pumps but I found that two pumps was just enough for my whole face so yes and I feel like that also makes product last longer it was kind of expensive I lost the receipt but I think it was like $40 or something which is a lot especially for one ounce so yes but anyways okay that and then I'm going to let that sit on my face while I brush my teeth because vitamin C likes to kind of you know soak in a little bit and I also feel like it's good after the step of putting um, a serum on to let it soak in a bit before you go in with your moisturizer so I'm gonna do that after brushing my teeth, I immediately put on some lip. This is the Glossier Balm.com. I use this every morning. It's also great for cuticles, and I've been trying to be more mindful of my cuticles, so I also apply some there as well. I was getting my nails done, and um, the woman was like, and I always get those like hang nails, you know, and they're really painful. <laughs> And the woman was like, you know, as she was doing my nails, she's like, do you apply cuticle oil every day? Like, it'll prevent those. And I was like, no, how did I not know this? And so, yeah, so I do that with my bomb.com. I just use it as my cuticle oil. She said you could also use, like, coconut oil if you have that, which, like, you know, you can get that at any grocery store. Okay, and then what I would usually do after that is apply my moisturizer and then a sun, the sunscreen after. But since I just applied a serum with a sunscreen in it, I'm just going to do this. And then for my makeup today, I'm going to apply my Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. And this also has sunscreen in it. So I don't think I need to triple the sunscreen today. <laughs> the Embryolisse Late Cream Concentrate. And I love it. It's like a... French brand and it's one that like back in the day a lot of models used because it's really great under makeup and just leaves your skin like very hydrated and moisturized. That's it. Let's go make a smoothie. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a cooking show or something, but yes. So water, of course. I'm just going to talk to you guys about what the deal is for today while I am making my smoothie. So basically for today, uh, I have to take the day off as I mentioned. So, so what I'm going to do today is I reserved a ticket to go to the Met today. That's one of my favorite things to do alone is to go to a museum. And so, yeah, and it, apparently then that has a new, um, like, fashion exhibit, so I'll see if that's still up, if I can visit that. I don't know if it's extra, but I'm going to go check it out. And before that, I'm probably going to go get groceries for the week, so I might just make a quick list and run down to Trader Joe's if it's open today. I think that's it. I just got my hair done yesterday, so I'm kind of like, normally I would do a workout, but I'm like, do you ever get like when you go to the hair salon and then they put like good products in your hair and then they style it and you're like I don't want to do a workout and sweat and then have to shower and then ruin all of that that they did in my hair so I think I'm I think I'm gonna wait I'm like I'm off the hook <laughs> some collagen powder I have barely any left I only have like tiniest bit left so I have to oop. <laughs> dump it in. These are my frozen berries. I use these like reusable Ziploc bags. They're really convenient and you can just wash them and you know, <laughs> use them again. So I'm put in one, two, three, four strawberries. I have some frozen raspberries as well. Like a little handful. 
And then blueberries as well for antioxidants. I don't love blueberries in smoothies, but I know that they're healthy, so I put a couple in. Then I also have some frozen mango. And if I had some frozen spinach, I would put that on top as well, but I don't, so this is going to be it. I'm gonna blend that up and we're good. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down roasted seaweed because I love this as a snack it is so good okay this was really cool I noticed that Trader Joe's has macaroons so or macarons macarons I'm might be saying it wrong but anyways yes this is what it is and I thought that that was so cool so and there's only five dollars crazy I got some flowers because they're so cheap and they make me happy <laughs> I went a little bit different this week with my fruit for my smoothies. I eat berries so much, and I'm like, you know what, I think I'm eating too many berries. I need to get other nutrients from other fruits. So for this week, I'm going to do pineapple, watermelon, and pomegranates. I got some roasted kale as a snack. I got some rolled oats because I was all out of oats, and I like making them for breakfast sometimes. <clears throat> Trader Joe's does this sweet potato gnocchi, which I love. It's really easy to just heat up for a dinner one night so throw that in my freezer I got some frozen shrimp because I love frozen shrimp I got bananas for smoothies and two avocados the other one fell out I got some oranges I might throw these into my smoothies as well and then celery and peppers for I think I'm gonna put them in my salads but they were just like veggies that I haven't eaten in a while so I was like let me get those nutrients in and that's it and if you try you wouldn't Understand it, maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't 
sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different cheesy and say that it reminds me of the, the show Bridgerton but um yeah I just think it's so beautiful and I'm so happy to come here and just take a day <laughs> take some time to myself walk around It's only open to members today. So, oh well, that just means I'll have to come back sometime. But on the way here uh, in the Uber, I saw that we passed a Love Shack Fancy and I remembered, that's right. <laughs> There's a Love Shack Fancy on the Upper East Side. So it's actually only like a couple blocks away from the Met. So I'm gonna go there now. I'm really excited, but yeah, oh my goodness. The buildings around here are so nice. Look at this, like, house. Right there. What? Like, I don't know. I just like, I think it's so cool. Um, okay, but, let's check fancy. <laughs>
that was fun. Um, back at my apartment now. I went to the Met. I went to Love Shack Fancy. And when I was at the Met, I really liked seeing the late 1700s, early 1800s. Uh, like the rooms where they had the incredibly intricate furniture and the beds and it was just so nice and it actually made me really want to watch the movie the movie Beauty and the Beast uh, like the new one with Emma Roberts or Emma Watson sorry so I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make some mac and cheese I've got the pot on and just get cozy and enjoy the rest of the night Oh, and I almost forgot. I wanted to show you what I got at Love Shack Fancy. So I have my little bag here. I always go in there and I'm like, oh, everything's so pretty. And then I remember that all of the clothes are like $600 each. So I always at least try to get something small. So I got face masks. Oh, they're like tissue paper. It's so pretty. It's like the same pattern as the like workout set that I just got, like the leggings and the sports bra. But yep, I just got these two little face masks and I love that they're like pink and purple and they have the beads on them <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're just cute so I can't wait to use them. Let me show them. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at that. They're like beaded. Um, oh, they're Love Shack Fancy. Uh, in collaboration with Stony Clover, so. But yeah, they look like that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I just need to tie them a little bit tighter. Yay, they have like the beads on the side, which I think is so adorable, and you like tie it in a little bow. I think that is so cute. And then, yeah, the purple one is really similar too, but it has like the gold beads, which I think is also really pretty, so. Yay, I'll leave a link to these. I think that they're on their website, so I'll leave a link to them down below. Alright, so that is it. It's now Monday night. I have work tomorrow. I'm editing this video and trying to get it up. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and check out the Fashion Squirrel and hopefully I will see you next time. Alright.